could help us here, let's do an automatic injection of the sink basin. So what we have is the PRG is in the automatic mode. So the automatic injection screen is showing right on the front console. Don's connected the end of the static mixer, the injection line, to that T we described, right? So now he takes the RFID tag that we've trained to the sink basin, puts it on the antenna. This is all the operator does. You can see it reading the, the tag. Sink basin selected is the recipe the machine has found. The catalyst system is going back to home. And the starting point for the catalyst is 1.4%. So the catalyst pump is moving out automatically to 1.4%. And now it will recirculate the small bit of resin in the hose here so that it knows that it's up to temperature. And when it senses it being up to temperature, it will stop and then automatically begin. In this case, it was right up to temperature to start with, so it's already begun the injection. You can see here that we've got the green resin flowing. It's flowing into the mold. Now, I don't know how well you can see it there on the video, but the resin is flowing around the perimeter. You can see it darkening here. It's gotten to this point right here, right here. Hopefully, when it gets up this wall, you'll be able to see it more clearly. It's just coming around this corner here. You can just see it. Remember, it's coming around. Now, we're flowing right now, and it just moved up to 1.5% all by itself because I've told it to go from 1.4 to 1.6. And we're flowing at 26 grams a second, which is the first step. Right now, we're at 1.8 kilograms. At 2 kilograms, we're at 1.9, 195. At 2 kilograms, it's going to stop. Here it is, 2 kilograms. It's going to reset its flow rate to 22 grams a second and then begin ramping up again. So here we've got a step flow rate to illustrate just how you do that. Now, mind you, on a mold this size, we probably could fill generally no more than two steps. I have this set for three, but I wanted to slow things down, give us a chance. Now, if you look carefully, you can see the resin coming right across here. So we've filled all around the perimeter, and we're coming up this wall. We're right here right now. And that'll continue all the way around and continue to follow until it all falls and chases right up to this vent. So let's continue to watch that. We're at 2.9456. We're at 3 kilograms. At 4 kilograms, we're at 3.2 right now. At 4 kilograms, it's going to stop again and put in 9 tenths of a kilogram at 10 grams a second, just to show the effect of running a bit faster, then slowing down in a step, and then right at the end, the last percent of resin that we wish we have it flowing in at just 10 grams a second. Those of you that can see it, I'm hoping it's showing up in the video. We're now up to this area. We've got a spot about this big around, all converging right here. We're just starting up this one sink basin drain port here. It's going to remember it's going to go over all that, but end up the top of this drain port is the final. Now there we are. We're at four kilograms, and we've just now switched down to 10 grams a second. So here again, this enables us to fill rapidly and slow down a bit, and then creep the last bit. The whole idea is to prevent from opening the mold. That's what's critical. We want a uniform cavity. We spend umpteen hours building an accurate tool. What we don't want to do is spread the tool open from hydraulic resin pressure. All right, you can just see there, we've now filled. In effect, although we're running automatically, we could stop even before that. We've got 4.4 kilograms, so we know that we could pull another couple hundred, kilo, uh, couple hundred grams out of this injection process. Still getting a couple points of air there at that moment. Uh, but frankly, we're at 4.5556. This will stop at 4.9 kilograms. So we'll watch that in a moment here. We'll be ready to stop. 
4.68. Remember, we're creeping in. We're at 10 grams a second right now, which is a very low flow rate. Now, we've made surfboard fins flowing at about 2.8 grams a second, but normally we wouldn't be flowing at around 10 grams a second. Again, this was done for illustration of this. And mind you, it has, along this path, bumped itself up to 1.6% catalyst. Okay, injection is complete, 4.91 kilograms of resin, and we're ready to simply flush. Let's see, let me go ahead and just bend that too. Now, Don left the, the RFID tag on all the time. Really, it only needs to be in place during the initial start. The operator can then set it back, and what you don't see is just a simple pad of Velcro holds that tag in place. And we have them going through numerous manufacturing plants all around the world with a simple nylon string and a piece of Velcro. Doesn't get simpler than that, and frankly, that works very effectively. We've tried different things, putting them in pockets and all that sort of thing. Forget it. It's simple enough to just use a piece of Velcro, and that's it. Okay, now, we mind you, if we had an automatic valve, an Avis valve, on here, in effect, we wouldn't even be here right now. We could be on doing something else. The machine would have automatically flushed. But because we've got the gun in a situation where it could be going on and shooting another part, or in this case, needing to be flushed, all that he needs to do right now is push one button. There you're getting air, and that air is pushing the bulk of the resin that's in that mix head and static mixer out, cleaning it out, minimizing the amount of solvent. In this case, that's controlled 12 seconds. Now here's your three second shot of solvent, followed by 15 seconds of cleaning air. Now those values can be preset, pre-programmed to different amounts. Maybe you want more cleaning air in the beginning, a bit more solvent, but we minimize the amount of solvent. Now that gun, if we take it apart, is spot clean inside. Now we can do that between each part, if there's gonna be an interval of time delay, or if he was going right next door to another mold, all he would do is take the gun, grab the RFID tag without having to even flush. You don't need to flush every time, but he'd take the RFID tag on the next mold, put it on the reader, hit start, and it begins the injection. Don't even need to go back to the machine. The machine would go into its memory, pull up the recipe for the next mold, and it would be just that simple. One button, fire and forget. Fill the mold, pinch the line off as he's done, go on to the next mold, and then flush me after you're done for the last mold. All right, we're gonna need a few minutes to let this resin set up, so if you sit back for a bit, we'll, uh, we'll be right back and we'll open the mold. 